Next question is from Salar7. Does training fasted make you stronger in your workouts? I always feel much sharper and mentally clear, which really translates to my lifts. Yeah, you know what this highlights? Hmm. This highlights the individual variants that you find with almost everything. Because studies will show that eating uh, a couple hours before your workout will result in better performance pretty yeah. consistently. Like mm -hmm. they show pretty consistently performance is better when you eat, you know, a couple hours before and you have a protein carbohydrate rich uh, meal is what they'll say. You'll have better performance. However, there are cases like this where this person is like, I feel better and sharper when I train fasted. You know who else feels that way? I do. I feel better working out fasted than when I'm necessarily fed or whatever. So, this is a big individual variance thing. You got to kind of listen to your body. Most people will do better yeah. being fed. But that being said, there are people that do better. And uh, I fasted. think, you know, sometimes there's a window to that. So if this is a new concept, like if you've just started kind of trying to, to be in a fastest state, you're realizing, you're actualizing um, the fact that you have more mental clarity and sharpness and um, you're sort of, you know, fueling that into your workout. But at a certain point, if you've been doing it long enough, which is what I've experienced, if I'm not fed, I don't really, uh, at a certain point, like my energy dips and, and it drops if I, if I don't have that to pull from. So um, there's, there's sort of a benefit and a detriment depending on, um, <clears throat> you, you know, obviously the individual variances to that, but I, I, I do see like a mental sharpness and in, in, in terms of like being able to access the central nervous system, um, you know, that's been helpful, but, uh, you, you know, these, and the, the type of the workout matters too, if I'm going for more endurance or I'm like, it's a really rigorous, uh, type of workout. I need to be fed. Yeah. So m my personal experience with it is. Uh, I'm the opposite of Sal. I've actually uh, hate being fasted. I do not feel as strong. I don't feel as the energy. I do notice mental clarity. That's why I love to be fasted for like podcasting or if I'm writing or I'm doing something that I, I need to be clear and right. sharp. Uh, I do see lots of, I see the cognitive benefits of doing that. I do not see the performance benefits. Now, that being said, this last year or two, there's been quite more often than not, I'm actually training fasted. Uh, and I have felt my body adapt to it and get better at it. So what felt miserable before, like when I first started playing with that, I remember when we first started talking about intermittent fasting and you were actually talking about, oh man, I feel better. I actually mm -hmm. feel more energetic. And you were talking about all the benefits. I was like, okay, well, let me play with it. And I was like, nah, dude, this is not for me. I feel way tired. I don't feel as strong. I feel super weak. I halfway through the workout, I want to quit early and I hated it. And so I kind of went away from it. But uh, and not trying to train fasted. It just started happening because we're training in the morning. So a lot of times I come here on nothing but maybe a cup, a cup of coffee. So I'm not completely fasted, uh, but pretty much, right? I'm going into these workouts with not a lot of calories to support. Uh, and I, my body's gotten used to it that now I don't feel miserable why I do it. I feel actually pretty good and okay. But I still notice if I have a day where I've had two or three meals and I have a later training session, much stronger. I, I tend to have a longer, better workout when I do that. Yeah. I think, you know, too, Justin, you brought up a good point. The type of workout is going to make a big difference. I think mm. if you're going to do an endurance workout, it's going to be long and grueling. You're probably going to want to eat. Yeah. At some point you might hit a wall and that's not going to feel very good, but it, it is really interesting at the variance between people and how they feel. And you really got to look, if you feel better working out first thing in the morning without having any food, then do it. If yeah. you feel better eating an hour or two before, then go ahead and do it. I really don't think there's a wrong answer here.